In this video, I want to talk about the overall structure that we have with Everlesson in general. So the first thing you have to understand is you have the Everlesson portal, also known as your dashboard. And inside your dashboard, you're going to create memberships. Now, this is all pretty standard right here. There's nothing you really want to change with this, and it really doesn't affect anything that you're doing with your customers. They don't really see any of this. This is all internal. Inside your memberships, this is where the language comes in. We have what are called courses or products or whatever you want to call this. This is a language setting, and you can decide what you want this to be called. Obviously, it depends on your client or the application that you're using Everlesson with. So inside the courses now, we have what are called lessons, or some people might call them modules, or other people might call them tracks, learning tracks. It's completely up to you. Again, these two things right here are a language setting, and you can call them whatever you want. It really doesn't matter, but the overall structure and functionality is going to stay the same. And then inside the lessons, you're going to have your media, which is going to consist of videos or resources. And then inside the lessons, we're also going to have our campaigns. So our campaigns could be uh, monetization campaigns such as banners, news tickers, pop-ups, or it could be a gamification campaign or things of that nature. So this is the overall structure that we have with Everlesson. Pretty straightforward, but I just wanted to make sure that you understood exactly how everything is laid out.